hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is Bridget and I do videos on faith hair and family and to my old subscribers thank you guys for your love and the support in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my testimony how I met the Lord through this deadly disease I'm just going to jump right into the testimony I can remember vividly back in 2011 guys I was in the university that was my final year at the university I can remember this day when I left school came to my house you know I, I had to rest because I was so exhausted so I lay down on my bed to rest all of a sudden I felt like something was really wrong with me I felt like this one side of my body the left side of my body was getting numb I couldn't raise up my hands I couldn't raise up my feet and I was so scared guys because I have never felt something like that before so I took my phone I called one of my friends her name is Olive Olive if you are watching this video God bless you and I love you so very much so Olive came to my house and I explained to her all that had happened and she was also surprised because I've never told her such a thing before guys it was really 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 i was really tense i like it was really serious i couldn't lift up my hands i couldn't lift up my feet so olive prayed for me i told her to read psalms 91 because i always read psalms 91 that was my favorite psalms so she read psalms 91 and she prayed for me and i felt a little bit relieved so after I finished praying for me olive told me she told me to you know to seek the lord to take everything to the lord in prayers to to seek the face of god concerning that situation so the following week i went to see my mom i explained to her everything that had happened and she told me to go see the doctor and guys when i went to the hospital i saw the doctor he asked me to go to the cardiac department and i did some tests i can remember this test ecg i did that test and i did some other tests and when the result came out the doctor called me in in his office and he was he was just beating around the bush he was like oh you are really really sick i don't know what is happening but this is really strange the results are really complicated he was just saying all sort of thing and i was really really scared so he asked me to go see a, a cardiologist in a bigger hospital in douala or yaoundé guys at this point i knew that everything was really really serious i knew that this was really serious i knew that something was really wrong because guys the doctor was just so surprised he asked me how old i was i told him then he was like you are very young to have this kind of complications so so i left the hospital i went home i told my mom everything and my mom also told me to go to the cardiologist in the bigger hospital in douala or in yaoundé so at this point i remember everything my friend olive said to me she told me to take it to god in prayer she told me nothing is impossible for the lord guys this word she said just came to my mind and i started reading the bible i started meditating on the word of god i stirred my faith with the word of god the word of god is so powerful i stirred my faith with the word of god i read the word of god day and night i meditated on the word you know i soaked my spirit with the word of god because i knew that at that point it was only god who can help me this was because growing up i knew heart diseases like heart problems you know anything related to heart in fact you are dying that is what i knew so i knew i was dying i knew that the doctors could not do anything i knew that they just wanted to waste my time so i knew the word of god i knew god was the only solution to that problem so i so i started listening to the word of god meditating on need i listened to men of god preach on tv my faith was dead my faith began to grow i experienced the presence of god in my life like never before and before i got sick i was going to church i was a regular church person i went to church you know on sundays it was kind of a tradition because my mom always always make sure we go to church but i didn't really have this personal relationship with the lord so when i got sick that is when i started seeking the face of the lord back then you know i just went to church i don't really care about you know 
having that personal relationship with God. But I read the Bible, meditate on it. The word of God was filled in my spirit. I started speaking the word of God in my life, in my situation. I started confessing the word of God. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. I started filling my spirit with the word of God. Guys, I felt the presence of God in my life. At one point, I, I felt like... There was nothing wrong with me. I felt like I'd received my deliverance. There was something different. Guys, the joy of the Lord is something that every Christian needs to experience. It is such a wonderful experience to experience the, you know, the presence of God in your life. But my mom and some of my friends kept saying, oh, okay, just go to the gynecologist, uh, to the cardiologist, just go and see the cardiologist. Okay, just do the test so we should know you're okay. Then I went to Douala. I went to Lupita General. It's a general hospital in Douala. It's a very big hospital. So I went to that hospital. I met the, the cardiologist. I told her everything that had happened. I showed her my... I showed her the other um, result from the other hospital and she asked me to go and do some series of tests. So as I enter each laboratory room, I was just meditating the word of God. I was just saying my body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Sickness is not my portion. Sickness is not from the Lord. So sickness has no place in my life. I was just meditating this word in my in my spirit. And I did all the tests, guys. When the lab result came out, I took them to the gana to the cardiologist and when she saw the result she was like oh there's nothing wrong with you and why are you here and i told her but you saw the other result from the other hospital so the doctor referred me to this hospital and she said the result from the other hospital are really they they, they did ev everything was correctly done but i don't know what is happening the result in this hospital shows that you are perfectly okay guys at that moment i was just praising the lord i was just you know worshiping the lord in my spirit i was just saying thank you god for this deliverance you know i received my healings all the signs i didn't have any numbness in my body nothing nothing to date everything vanished and growing up i was always going to the hospital i had like five hospital books either i had a problem with my ears or with my eyes or with my legs in fact or with my chest or with my stomach Something must be wrong with me at one point in time, you know. I don't know what was really wrong with me, but I just believed that through that uh, cardiac problem, I got delivered in every area of my life. I was just so, in fact, I was perfect. I just want to give God the glory for everything he has done in my life, everything he has been doing in my life. Guys, I experienced the love of god i experienced the tremendous grace of god upon my life and i want to advise everyone out there if you're having a problem if you're having a situation maybe you're sick maybe in any part of your body just meditate on the word of god the word of god is sharper than any two-edged sword so the word of god will cut every every everything in your life which was not planted by the lord you know the enemy comes to steal to kill and to destroy but the word of god will always always free us from every every attack of the enemy just read the word of god meditate the word of god fill your spirit with the word of god i bet you everything 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 will just vanish in a blink of an eye that was my wonderful testimony and I am free today. I am free. I am totally free. I am healthy. In fact, I've not gone to the hospital since that time. I just, I went to the hospital just to give birth to my kids. And guys, I am super excited. I remember my mom used to call me medicated child because I was always, always sick. But I just thank God for my life. I thank God for the grace. I thank God for the... You know, for all the testimonies, I thank God for the healing, for the deliverance. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye.